if you saw when the market opened today, um, the weed stocks jumped up. Yes. And that's because last week, New Jersey, along with 15 other states, are now officially open for recreational use. But New Jersey was added to the other 15 states. But um, voters in Arizona, Montana, New Jersey, and South Dakota cleared cannabis for adult use, bringing the total number of states approved for that purpose to 15. So shout out to those states. Shout out to Jersey. That's big for Jersey. Um, Jersey's better than New York right now. That those toll, uh, those toll bills, Easy Pass is going to make a killing. <laughs> yo, easy, yo, because you know, listen, this is, I'm gonna tell you exactly how niggas are in, in New York are thinking about this right now. Yo, you try and pay $10 to go across the tolls for some gas? Yes. Every time it's gonna be yes. If you say, yo, for some gas, your man is gonna say yes. It, it, not, no price of the toll matters. It doesn't. That's, that's, that's the thing. Like, so I'm not a smoker. I've like had an edible here and there in life. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Stories will not be told on this show. Um, when we get paid, I'll tell, I'll tell my edible stories. When we start getting paid, I'll tell my edible <laughs> stories. Save, save it, save it for the sponsorship. Absolutely. Um, I think it's a great thing just because of like the, the whole criminal aspect behind yes. the, the stigma that you know, black men are put in prison for exorbitant amount of, amounts of time for marijuana, which is ridiculous and always has been. Yeah. Um, you decriminalize it, you take the violence away from it, uh, you take the undue prison sentences away, crowded prisons, taking black fathers away from their kids. All of that stuff kind of like dissipates and the stigma starts to change uh, once it's legal. So I'm all for it. Um, I saw that, uh, that story you put in there and I remember hearing something on the news the, uh, the other week where I think Oregon was decriminalizing all drugs. Yes. Yes. Heavy. I think a little excessive. Oh, slow down. Okay. Oh yeah. I think it's dope. And honestly, like if like heroin and cocaine and all that stuff like that, that fucks people up. There's the reason that I don't do heroin isn't because it's not illegal. It's because it's heroin. That's the reason. Fact. Like the reason I don't snort cocaine isn't because I'll go to jail. It's because it's snorting cocaine. Yeah. Oh, so I don't really, people who are conservatives think like this world is going to like drop into just like this, this anarchy and people are just like on the bus shooting needles up and it's no. not going to be, and it's, it's not going to be that. No, it's not. There's not going to be a certain influx of people who's like, like you said, I, I get what you're saying. Like, it's not like, it, oh, it's legal now. Let me tap in. Like, nah, if you were doing this before, if there's something that you're, <laughs> huh? It's legal now. Let me shoot up. Nobody. Yeah, let me just shoot up. No one got instantly triggered. I think that um, the legalization of just cannabis for um, recreational use. I think that's dope because it's really just bringing an awareness of just cannabis, and that is not this illegal thing. You're not a negative person if you consume it, smoke it, use it to, for. Your, your aches and pains, use it for your memory, whatever the case may be. Like, it, there's just so much negatives attached to it, especially as an African-American who smokes weed. It's like people look at you like, oh, this guy's no good. And it's like, nah, this is a legal substance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> White people are making billions off of this. Yeah. I think it's okay. While we're Legally making billions of this. Trading between each other, stocks. Mm -hmm. So it's like, there's no way you can say that this, is, make, this makes me or it makes the African-American who's behind bars because he had it on his possession, a terrible person. 